Wellness, in a way, it gets to be kind of nebulous. You know, it's very hip to talk about wellness right now. First of all, that's not a bad thing in any way. But I think it's important to understand that wellness is a very unique thing. Traditionally, psychology and therapy has all been about seeing what's wrong. Positive psychology is not different, it's just another way to go about it. It's about remembering the fact that the positive things are always there too. And when we share it, we do this type of practice in a group, you find out that, hey, you know, we are really so much more alike than we are different. And you don't have to feel like alone the next time you're on your, your writing and your page. This is a human experience that is more shared than it is different. This place is really special because it is that and more. What really happened organically was that the people here thought about creativity as it is in everybody's life. We started creative conversations by pulling professionals that have used creativity in their lives. There was a man who had been up for a nomination of a Grammy for music. There was a, a landscape designer. There was an interior designer that just talked about how do you think about painting the inside of your house? Because it matters. But we are capturing that sense and understanding of creativity from a lot of different areas in life. And it's showcased in creative conversations. It's a gem. Not only do we learn from the speaker, but we also learn from one another. And I learn every single time from the people that I am sitting with at the table. It's enlightening, it's refreshing. I always walk away with such a positive sense of receiving something valuable. We believe that art is essential to the flourishing of the human spirit. We want as many people as possible to experience the joy, peace, and calm that can arise through the expression of creativity through art.